Good day, Grade 11s. I am your business that is Tuta. I go by the name of Noctula Zulu. And today we are going to be looking at the topic that says presentation of business information. But today we will be looking at the practice and application questions for the topic that I've uh, told you about, which is presentation of business information. Now let's start with our practice question. Now let's look at the practice question. Read the following scenario and answer the questions that follow. Claudia's presentation. Claudia is planning on presenting her business plan to various stakeholders. She has identified her audience and included drawings in her presentation. She has also proofread her verbal presentation to ensure that it is error free. Claudia's presentation to stakeholders was good even though she was not professional when responding to questions on her presentation. Now the question says, name a visual aid that Claudia has used in her presentation. Let's go back to the presentation. Claudia is planning on presenting her business plan to various stakeholders. So this is a statement we are looking for a visual aid that she has used. She has identified her audience and included drawings in her presentation. So this drawings uh, is a visual aid, which is, I'm sure you're thinking, which is a diagram. So this would fall under a diagram. Then let's move on to the next question. Describe other types of visual aids. So before we continue, let us uh, bear in mind that when the question says other types, it simply means that the one that we've mentioned before in question number one, we must not include it when we describe other types of visual aids. Okay. Now we have tables. A table is a set of figures ar uh, arranged in columns and in rows. So when we talk of a table, we are talking of something similar to this one. This is a table. These are our rows. Uh, these are our rows. And these are our uh, columns. The information in the table is used to compare or contrast. So when we use a table, we use it to compare information or even differentiate information. Then we have a bar graph. A bar graph is a diagram uh, showing how two or more sets of uh, data are related. So when we draw a, uh, a bar graph, we have a Cartesian plane. This is our Cartesian plane. These are our y-axis and these are our x-axis. So our bar graph, it has bars like this. So this is a bar graph. A this is a bar graph. So obviously it shows us the relationship between the x-axis as well as the y x, uh, the y-axis as well as the x-axis. They are useful when one wants to compare data over a period of time. So obviously we use bar graphs if we want to compare information over a period of time. Then let's move on to still on our question. We are still on describing other types of visual aids. Then we have handouts. Handouts are copies of presentation where the content of multiple slides is displayed on a single or multiple pages. So handouts, we are giving them out, actually, uh, uh, the handouts, rather. Uh, it displays single, it has single, it's a single page, or it can also be multiple pages whereby we've summarized information about the presentation. Uh, that have been presented to you. And even before we go further, uh, I want to also explain that handouts can be given before the presentation or even after the presentation. Before the presentation is to make the audience to be interested in what you are going to present about. And if given after the presentation, obviously it's all about reminding the audience when they're at home what was the presentation about. Then we have transparencies or slides. A transparency is a thin sheet of transparent, flexible material. So it's not a paper, but it's a thin sheet of transparent uh, material. Uh, they are plastic sheets that a presenter 
uh, can use to write information on as much as they are a plastic sheet. But that plastic sheet, you can be able to write information on it so that it can be, it, it's used actually when you use an overhead projector whereby whatever that you've written on this plastic sheet that we call a transparency can be projected uh, on the wall and then audience can see what is written on a transparency. Then question number three says, advise Claudia on the importance of presenting business information uh, used to validate information or data. So it's important to present business information so that we validate information or data. Could be verbal or non-verbal. So the presentation can be a verbal presentation or it can also be a non-verbal presentation depending on the type of the audience that you're going to present the information to. Provide management with data regarding uh, important markets. So it's important to present business information so that management is informed of what exactly is happening on the markets that we operate in. Allow management to know more about competitive marketing strategies. So through the presentation of business information, management are able to know uh, more about competitive strategies, what strategies are they using, and then obviously management will try and change the business strategy in order to be more advanced than those of competitors. So they can only do that only if business information is presented to them. The financial performance of the business could be shared with stakeholders. So obviously when we present information, we can be able to share even the financial performance of the business. As you can see, sometimes in newspapers, you'd find that uh, information of public companies is published. That's business information. So stakeholders know very well how businesses, uh, how public companies are doing through the presentation of business information on the newspapers that we, uh, that we read. Before we continue to the applications questions, uh, let us just go for a quick break and we will be back.